Hi, this is Avi Levi with Levi Design Build, and in this video, I would like to talk about ADU and solar requirements. Um, I'm getting a lot of questions from potential homeowners that are looking to develop ADUs. What are the new regulations and guidelines for uh, solar panels? So let's review those um, in this video. This way you can have a better understanding of it. Um, let's start with the basics. Um, starting January 1st, 2021, State of California new energy compliance guidelines is requiring that cities and municipals will enforce solar panels on all new build projects, no matter what the size is. Prior to that, it was for only 2,000, 2000 square feet and above of new builds. And with that being said, any ADU, that is a new build, will be required to have solar panels, no matter what the size is. Um, however, if you've submitted your plans before 2021 and your plans are still in a uh, plan check process, you should be exempt and this should not be applied to you. Now, let's talk about what type of ADUs are going to need to have solar panels because not all of you that are planning to have ADUs are going to need to have a solar panel. Um, the first um, category that won't need to have a uh, um, solar panel is ADU that is involved with alteration, conversion, remodel of existing structure. For example, if you have a garage that you're converting um, or a creation room that you're converting, or if you're taking your home and you're splitting it into two, you won't need to have solar panels. That's gonna exempt you from having a solar panel. Um, second option, if you are doing an addition as, as an ADU, um, the addition can be uh, an addition to an existing garage, an addition to your home, an addition to an existing structure. Because that addition is attached to an existing structure, you will also be exempt from having solar panels. Um, however, if your new, if, sorry, if your ADU is going to be a complete new build, a completely detached ADU, ground up, new construction, you will need to have solar panels installed. Um, you can file for exemption. Exemptions are, um, are going to be uh, for the following uh, criteria. One, if your ADU have a roof that is too small to have solar panels. And two, the position of your ADU is not getting enough sunlight to have solar panels that will actually uh, benefit you to have it and to operate um, all the electrical appliances and needs for the unit. Now, with that being said, if you are planning to um, have an ADU, a new build, and um, you're also planning to file for an exempt, be aware that solar panels should, it can be installed not only on roof, it can also be installed on the ground, it can be installed um, on raised platforms. There's different ways and options to install it. It, it. Basically, it can be installed almost anywhere. So when you file for an exemption, the planning department will review it and will make sure if there is no other place that it can be installed. A side note, um, I know that a lot of you are looking to do ADUs and you're trying to save money as much as you can. And uh, this new bill and new uh, regulations that require you to have solar panel on new developed ADUs may um, add some cost, not may, to add cost to your uh, development. However, take note of that having a solar panel will also save you money on the long run. Having solar panel will save you on energy bills. Having solar panel um, will you know, allow you, if you rent the unit, to um, have it like as another amenity that you're charging extra for the rent because the tenant will have less uh, power bills. And power bills um, in our area in California are pretty high. If you are uh, in need to have a solar panel system, it will be part of the energy calculation that you need to do. It will need to show on the plan that you're submitting to the city where you're going to install those uh, panels. However, it doesn't need to have the exact system designed yet. When you get to it, um, I would recommend to hire a direct solar company that that's their specialty. That's what they do. And there's different ways. You can either purchase a system and install it, which is probably the um, it's a one-time investment, a big investment, but it's a one-time investment that it will pay off on the long run. Um, or you can lease a system, or you can even share um, the cost of, of the system together with a company where um, they're gonna benefit from any um, 
added voltage that they can sell back to the power company. Again, I really advise you to consult with a solo company. That's, uh, that's their, that this is their specialty. They'll be able to give you some more information about it. If you have any more questions about these subjects, please feel free to email me or call me. I'll be happy to answer that. See you on the next one.